Hello, hello, hello. Lisa Simmer here today. How's everybody doing? dig in. What do you want to talk about today? Should we talk about some ways to love our liver? I think we should. I think we should. I think we should talk about taking care of some of these filtering organs that we have serve an incredible purpose but are not getting enough love. Talk about. Oops. Hey Andrea. Hey Leanne. Hey Allie. Yay. All right. We're working. Let's do it. Let's talk about our liver. So um, this topic is something we should always be working on, right? The health of our liver and our other filtering organs, kidneys, lungs, digestive system. Um, it came up, I had acupuncture and um, from a very talented um, Chinese herbal um, physician and I don't remember his other qualifications but quite talented and um, one look at my tongue and him putting his hands on the inside of my elbows and he immediately said I have terrible circulation right now um, my nervous system is completely overloaded and my liver and my kidneys um, are not filtering as well as they should that they are overburdened and I was like wow um, I hadn't even told him anything that was wrong with me yet and that's exactly what's wrong with me because I'm aware of my body and I I know a lot of these things and I went back and said okay it's time to tackle them we've been tackling a lot of problems lately and so those just weren't at the top of the list so I want to talk about our liver today and what I am doing to love on my liver so to learn some of these things you just want to grab your book so what book do you have if you've got this book I don't know how this book is laid out totally yet so I'm just gonna go back to the back and look at liver and see what kind of suggestions they have for liver health right so easy peasy lemon squeezy liver health all right, for healthy liver, they recommend lemon, Roman chamomile, Siberian fir, wild orange, apply two drops each over kidneys, and add two drops of citrus oils in water. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's supposed to say liver, all right? Um, that's one way to do it. There's lots of oils for liver health. So don't get overwhelmed. There isn't one right answer. That's what's confusing for people um, when they are new. And um, grab the oils that you do have. Make a list of oils that you don't have. So first I'm going to read from this book, Everyday Essentials Guidebook. And I have a link to get you a discount on this. And I'll post that when we're done. So for quick reference, some um, oils that are great for liver health. Frankincense turmeric, tea tree. You can take all three of those internally and you can apply them topically. Here are some great um, ways to use them. You can use clove, frankincense, peppermint, and thyme. One drop each for a week in a vegetable capsule and repeat that every month. So for one week of every month to help boost up your liver health, clove, frank, peppermint and thyme in a vegetable capsule. You're going to see a lot of those oils present in GX Assist, I believe. I don't think I have that in front of me right now, but another day. Um, next, for capsule options, you can take DDR Prime soft gels and turmeric capsules. Take one capsule each two times a day, and that's something you would do all of the time. Um, that's something we do every day anyway. So DDR Prime and turmeric capsules are a part of our daily routine. Um, I use the oil more than the capsules, um, but for turmeric, I use the oil in my coffee 
and I turn around and take the turmeric capsules, one in the morning and one at night. All right, next for oils in your water, grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, or lime. Add one to two drops of these citrus oils to your water daily and rotate them throughout the day. Um, already do that, except I do not use tangerine or lime, so I need to get those added to my routine. I really just need to keep all the citrus oils next to my sink. Um, I use, as you know, lemon and grapefruit on a daily basis. In fact, you can even see there's quite a bit in there today swirling around. Let's see if you can see that swirl. Yep, quite a bit in there. So I have lemon, grapefruit, and I just added wild orange for mental health because we've been dealing with a lot of health problems with my eyes and it's taking its toll. So adding wild orange, peppermint, and lavender to my water helps um, with my emotional state for dealing with my eye situation. All right, so citrus oils in your water are also great for cleansing your liver. Also recommended to apply two drops of frankincense over your liver three times a day. I love this. These are all oils that you probably have in your routine already somewhere. Now let's just use them in a way specifically to support our liver health, all right? Um, I didn't realize how common liver diseases are until I was in some other Facebook group and literally it was unreal the number of people who have fatty liver disease and all kinds of other liver problems. I was shocked. So we really, really, really need to help um, our body systems along in this way. Um, if gone unchecked, a lot of these health conditions can cause cirrhosis, which is scarring of the liver. And that's what we don't want. So let's do the simplest things, right? DDR Prime Soft Gel and Turmeric Capsules, um, one in the morning and one at night. Drinking your grapefruit, lemon, tangerine, lime, um, wild orange in your water on rotation, and frankincense over your liver three times a day, right? All right, let me go to my other book I like to read from, and this is The Essential Life, 6th edition. That is the current edition. They'll probably come out with a new one after convention. So this one I like to go to the front. Let's see if it can just look under liver. The front in the quick reference guide, that's the section with the orange tab. I like to just go straight to that summary section and let's see if we can find um, what the top five oils are for liver. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Zendocrine, Geranium, Copaiba, Turmeric, Lemon, and Grapefruit. Awesome, one, two, three, four, top six. I use all those oils um, every day right now. Uh, I'm falling off the wagon on the Zendocrine, so I got back on the wagon today, and I have a dropper bottle um, for my liver health. Let me go grab that recipe. It's a big one. Hold on. I'll be right back. got my back on the wagon recipes right here. There are two dropper bottles that I have made um, that I felt felt um, felt better on. So um, I need to get back on the wagon. So let's talk about liver health. All right. Um, there are things you can do. Um, Shelly says, I can't wait to do the cleanse once I'm done breastfeeding. And there's a lot of the parts of the cleanse, Shelly, that you can do even while breastfeeding. Just incorporate um, those products one at a time. Um, the only thing uh, that you want to avoid during breastfeeding is the GX assist. So you can be drinking for mild detoxification 
and using all the rest of those products. Hey, Brooke, yay! I feel so much better today, Brooke. Thank you so much. All right, so um, Brooke help, is helping me with some challenges. So a lot of pain in the eyes. All right, so back to the liver. You know I drink lemon and grapefruit in my water every single day. Turmeric is in my coffee. Copaiba is going under my tongue. We talked about that last week. Copaiba, DDR Prime, and frankincense under the tongue every night. I also am drinking um, Copaiba in my water. This little water has quite a bit of oil in it right now. It has one to two drops of each. Are you ready? Lemon, grapefruit, cinnamon, wild orange, lavender, peppermint, Copaiba and Frank. So these are all in my water. And it's amazing what you get used to once you start drinking the oils because I actually like the taste now. All right. And um, peppermint, I used to think was too hot. Frankincense was too medicinal tasting. And now I like them all. All right. So geranium, where does geranium go in my liver support? It goes over my liver. Geranium goes in my bath. When I take an Epsom salt bath, I'll do Epsom salts now, like a cup of Epsom salts. And in there, I put Adaptive, Balance, Aroma Touch, Serenity, and Geranium. You can do however many drops you're comfortable with. I do about five to 10 drops each. That's a lot, right? So you could just do one to two drops each, end up with five to 10 drops in your bath, whatever you're comfortable with. When you're just getting started, start out um, slower. All right, so next, Zendocrine itself, I use in a couple ways. So I'm back on the wagon with my Zendocrine White Bottle Complex, and I'm taking that morning and night. It has a detoxification complex that supports healthy organ cleansing functions. So what it has in it is more of an herbal supplement. It is not oils, right? It's whole food detox blend, including psyllium husk powder, rhubarb root extract, kelp, barberry root, milk thistle. Milk thistle is like a key ingredient in... Um, liver support, uh, liver cleansing health, acacia gum, osha root powder, garlic, right, red clover, and a few other things. Dandelion root, marshmallow herb extract, clove flower. And then it also has additional enzymes, and we're going to want to always add enzymes as anywhere that we can, right? So Enzyme support, amylase, cellulase, magnesium oxide, manganese sulfate, right? So super important to take this morning and night. I do not ingest the Zendocrine oil capsules um, because they make me burp. And um, I probably should revisit it. I haven't done it in a few years. So I continue to use Zendocrine oil topically. Um, Again, I've fallen off the wagon, so I'm getting back on. What happens is I make these amazing dropper bottles, and then they run out, and I get too lazy to refill it. And let me tell you, it's a lot easier to refill one dropper bottle and use it for weeks um, than it is to remake a roller like every other week or every week. So I need, I got back on the wagon and getting my liver support and my calming dropper bottle restocked. And I will talk to you more about both of those in a minute. All right, so let's go to page 275 where it's going to tell us more oils and products that are good for liver and how to use them. All right, so let's see here. Oil, single oils that are great for the liver, basil, cilantro, geranium, grapefruit, helichrysum, lemon, and rosemary. So let me check my list. Are those on there? Yep. Okay. I think I need to add cilantro to my list. I just really don't love cilantro. I'm sorry, guys. I love to eat it. I don't love the oil, but it needs to be on my list. Geranium. Just check my list. Grapefruit. I already drink a ton of grapefruit. Helichrysum. Helichrysum. Adding a few oils I missed the first time around. Lemon. I already drink a ton of lemon. Rosemary. 
I get a lot of rosemary on my body because I put an entire bottle of rosemary oil in every one liter bottle of my shampoo. All right, I like um, this part of this book because it also tells me for the rest of my digestive system what oils are good for what. So for example, for your stomach, oils that are good for your stomach, the single oils, black pepper, cardamom, fennel, ginger, and wild orange. So a lot of those are already in digestion. So you could also use Digestin. Stomach and intestinal lining oils that are good, grapefruit and peppermint. And then both of those also happen to be in Slim and Sassy. Slim and Sassy isn't just a weight loss oil or a blood sugar balancing oil. It supports your stomach, intestines, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, fat digestion, and helps you feel satiated, helps you feel satisfied. So Slim and Sassy oil in your water should be a regular part of your routine or even the Slim and Sassy, Slim and Sassy soft gels. Say that fast three times. Um, regardless of whether you want to use it for weight management or if you're having success or not success with weight management for yourself, you still want to be drinking Slim and Sassy in your water on a daily basis because it supports all of those other organs. All right, let's talk about intestines, basil, cardamom, ginger, green mandarin, marjoram, and peppermint. So you're going to see, excuse me, drank a lot of oils to make me burp today, um, marjoram and peppermint. You're going to see a lot of the same oils in these. So that's how it's easy for me to make a dropper bottle. Um, I see what's similar throughout and I want to get the most benefits. So I put the oils in there can help with the most um, different parts of my body. Gallbladder, geranium, grapefruit, and turmeric. Do you see how geranium and grapefruit are popping up for just about every um, internal organ support? Right? So I never used geranium except in my hot tub, which we rarely use. It's in my hot tub for cleaning my hot tub because um, we don't use chemicals, and other than that, I never used it. And I think it might be in my Clary Calm roller, but that's it. I literally, um, am not now, but probably two months ago when I rediscovered geranium, was still using my first bottle from seven years ago. That's how much I didn't use geranium. Hated the smell of it, didn't want it anywhere around me, and after... Um, learning about the benefits, right, for around my eyes, um, for recovery and repair, uh, I started learning more about geranium. And then I happened to go on sale with doTERRA last month, so I stocked up. Geranium is now a part of my everyday routine. I don't ingest it, um, but I use it in my bath. Anytime that I take a bath, it's in the hot tub whenever we use the hot tub. And now it's a part of multiple, multiple dropper bottles. And it sits the whole bottle. I got a whole bottle sitting next to my chair. And I will literally roll different diluted rollers on my face at night and then put geranium on top. Geranium, geranium, geranium. But you're seeing geranium and grapefruit in a lot of these. All right, so let's see what else do we want to learn about. Zendocrin supports the gallbladder, liver, and pancreas. Aroma Touch, which I told you I put in my bath every night, supports peristalsis and bowel tone. So it's great for healthy bowels. Who knew? You don't ingest the Aroma Touch, but um, applying it topically. Love it, love it, love it. So other oils for digestive and liver health. Bone Nutrient. PB Assist, Zendocrin Soft Gels, Digest Zen Soft Gels, DDR Prime Soft Gels, the Omegas, Terrazyme, GX Assist, and LLV, of course. All right. Love it, love it, love it. For best effect on digestive and intestinal activity, they suggest internally to place one to five drops in water and drink or take in a capsule. You can also lick off the back of your hand, which Diane suggested that the other day for DDR Prime or Melissa, I think. Or place drops on or under your tongue to allow impact directly in the stomach and intestines. Topically apply oils on the abdomen and or bottoms of feet for relief. 
when I know that I've ingested um, enough oils for the day or I'm just done with ingesting capsules or oils, my go-to is oils on the abdomen, lower back, and bottoms of feet. If I've got someone to help me, for example, Jackson did the Chi Symphony of Cells on me yesterday. Love that. Had never used that until Brooke um, recommended it. And Symphony of Cells, if you don't know what that is, is this awesome little book that you want to get on uh, truewellness.com. T-R-U-W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S.com. I don't have a discount for code for you. But I did the um, Chi Protocol, and he put that all over my back and the bottoms of my feet to help um, calm my nervous system, um, to help with a healthy inflammatory response, um, to help with head and neck tension, muscle weakness, my neurological system, um, I'm a number of other challenges actually that I'm dealing with since my eye surgery are listed in here. This chi application of these 11 oils um, help with musculoskeletal, nervous, cardiovascular, immune, and respiratory. Right, so we are now, um, for me, trying to regain my health, um, doing a symphony of cells on me um, every single day on my back. Um, chi healthy inflammatory, immune, and neurological um, for all the neurological damage in my eyes. Right, so super, super, super important um, to get these oils on. You can't do too much. Um, if I feel like I've ingested plenty, I go topically, but I'm still not doing too much. If you um, ever start to feel unwell, drink water. Most of the time we're dehydrated anyway, so drink lots and lots of water. All right, so liver. What is my recipe for liver health? All right, I'm going to post that. We're going to go through it again, and I'm open to suggestions. Now, I've left some oils off of here that I already use regularly in my routine already. So I'll make sure and mention them so you know that they need to be in there. All right? So I do in a 15 milliliter dropper bottle, five drops of each, and then it fills it less than half with oil, and then the rest of it's coconut oil or your carrier of choice. And then I shake it, um, pull the dropper out, empty the dropper, after it's shaken up, put it back in and refill the dropper, and I just go across my abdomen, focusing on the right side between the right breast and the right hip bone, massaging that in all over my abdomen and my right side, and reaching around the back over um, the kidneys, the lower back. When anytime, remember when you have citrus oils in anything, you want to make sure that you are avoiding the sun. Okay, so that's why I do a lot on my abdomen and back and bottoms of feet because I'm in the sun quite a bit in Illinois. All right, Diane, is there a number of drops that we can ingest each day? This is a great trick question. There is a graphic with a number of drops um, that the U.S. FDA has required doTERRA to state um, as the ingestion um, limit. So there's a difference between required um, to state and what we actually use. So you're going to go by personal preference, Diane. So um, a lot of us ingest quite a bit, depending on what we're trying to address. Um, but there's a graphic floating around that 25 drops of oil ingested on a daily basis um, is what doTERRA is required to put on their website, right? I do that in my coffee and water throughout the day alone, um, and I intend to keep doing it that way. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to Zendocrine, um, or I'm sorry, liver support and organ support. This is a topical use dropper bottle. This is not for internal use. Ready? Arbor Vita, and I'll post this, Arbor Vita black pepper, celery seed, cilantro, 
citronella, clove, cypress, green mandarin, juniper berry, pink pepper, adaptive, balance, DDR, digestion, litzy, zendocrine. Now, I would also include these other oils if you're not already using them. I already used throughout the day quite a bit of geranium, frankincense, basil, basil's all over me all the time, grapefruit, helichrysum, lemon, and rosemary. So I will add those to the list. You can put those in your dropper bottle. I'm already, I put basil all over my face and ears um, every night. Uh, geranium, we've already talked about. Grapefruit, I drink a ton all day. Helichrysum is all over my face and around my eyes at night. Lemon tongue in my water. Rosemary tongue's in my shampoo. So I'll add those to the list, though, because if those aren't part of your daily routine, you want to get those added right and turmeric's also great for the gallbladder and I drink that in my coffee every day so now you kind of see why there's so many um, oils that are good for so many things right they definitely are adaptogenic and can um, help with a number of different organs All right so some other oils that are great for the liver Roman chamomile myrrh and rose now, I again use those in other ways, so you can add those to your list. Here's the scoop. You can't do it wrong, right? That's why I love dropper bottles. You just can't do it wrong. So I will um, get that list, and um, you could make a roller, but again, I'm a big fan of these dropper bottles because a 10 milliliter roller, I go through pretty fast, and it's a lot of work to get all these oils out and put them in. Now, I'd like to pull up if I can find it, and maybe y'all can help me. My easy peasy liver roller that smells good, a little more perfumey, and gives you lots of energy. And this is a good one to use um, if you're not quite ready and you don't quite have all of these oils that we talked about today. My favorite for smelling good and feeling good and just taking me off on my day. Adaptive, Citrus Bloom, Litzy, Blue Tansy, and Zendocrine, I believe, is the recipe. Um, I know Becky has this one <laughs> down. Oh, I like this, Brooke. So Brooke says, if you're having gallbladder um, stuff going on, make sure and focus on supporting your liver. So pages 276 and 277 in this book that I'm reading from um, are ones that we're addressing today and so I love these top solution pages that's what it's called top solution pages in here by category it's how I found my calming dropper to help calm my nervous system um, when I had my cataract surgery I had severe reactions to the drugs severe reactions to the surgery it was all very very bad and um, I needed lots of calming. I uh, now have seizures and all kinds of great stuff that we have to um, make sure and calm my system. And so I went to, it's the blue section in here, I know it's blue, and pulled open this section and that's how I was able to come up with ideas on what oils to put in my dropper bottle. So I'm going to read those to you here. I want to find the section. Hold on. I'll find it. It's not parasites. Here we go. Is it mood and behavior? Mood and behavior is a great section. Um, mood and behavior is page uh, 321 and 322. Here we go, here we go. Favorite pages, limbic system, page 314 and 315. Who would love to release obsessions and compulsions? You ready for this? These are my, this is my two favorite pages in this book right now. Um, 
in a five milliliter roller bottle, 20 drops patchouli, 30 drops balance, and apply behind the ears, on the wrists, and bottoms of feet two to three times a day. Um, you can also put a couple drops of each in the palms of your hands, cup your nose, and inhale deeply. Pages 314 and 315 in the Essential Life Book 6th edi edition. You gotta get it. Yep, Jane, here you go. You can get it on oillife.com. You can get it on amazon.com. You want the 6th edition, page 314 and 315. So, all of these oils in this whole section are in my dropper bottle, basically. So, are you ready? And again, I'll um, type this up for y'all. So, some of the stuff that it's helping me with, um, nightmares and night terrors, obsessive compulsive thoughts and behaviors, overreacting, um, my mental health, um, I suffer from PTSD um, from uh, bad medical experiences. I've had enough to write a book about. Um, trauma, past and present. Um, what else? Nightmares be gone. Calming, grounding, relaxing, sedating. Um, all of these oils, uh, they can help with that, right? So Melissa oil um, was on sale last month. And I told you to all stock up on that. I still want you to use that the same way every single day. Put your thumb on the top of the bottle, tip it over, tip it back, call it a thumb drop. That was someone's idea last month. So you don't even get a full drop and put it on the roof of your mouth. All right, it helps with trauma recovery and reduces sad feelings. Juniper berry helps release fears, trauma, and nightmare. Frankincense balances brain activity, supports a sense of protection, safety, and releases traumatic memories. Frankincense, right? Frankincense under the tongue every single day, morning and night, at the very minimum. Patchouli, sedating, grounding, stabilizing, supports central nervous system. So that's a key oil for me right now because my nervous system is going haywire. Turmeric, antioxidant, and healthy inflammatory response, right? Oils for calming, black spruce, blue tansy, copaiba, frankincense, litzy, melissa, patchouli, sandalwood, tangerine, vetiver, and yarrow, right? So I'm going to um, read off some of the oils in my list here. Remember I um, said I don't have basil on my liver list, even though you need it. Well, that's because I already have it in my calming dropper blend, right? Here's my calming dropper blend. Okay, I'll post that up there so you can screenshot that. Now, again, if there's oils that I use a lot in other places, then um, I didn't necessarily duplicate, right? So basil, bergamot, blue tansy, cedarwood, cilantro. That's why I didn't have cilantro on my liver one. Clary sage, frank, geranium, helichrysum, juniper berry, lavender, lemongrass, marjoram, melissa, patchouli, pettigrain, Roman chamomile, rosemary, sandalwood, spikenard, tangerine, vetiver, and lang lang. All right, so five drops each in a 15 milliliter dropper bottle. You could even just put it in um, a recycled dropper bottle. Take your basil dropper bottle and put five drops each of these in your dropper bottle. Put your stopper back on, uh, five, ten drops, rub them together, and put them over your liver. You're also going to fill that with coconut oil so it'll already be diluted, right? Five drops each and your bottle's still only half full. So the rest would be coconut oil. Do five to ten drops, put your hands rubbed together, put them all over your abdomen and lower back. Same thing. That's why I put that sedating dropper because um, it's got citrus in there somewhere, tangerine. Okay, so again, abdomen, lower back, bottoms of feet. At nighttime, I'll actually put it all over my face because it helps calm all the strange uh, activity in my face. All right, I have muscle spasms and um, 
and uh, all kinds of <laughs> bizarre things happening in my face. I have a right eyebrow that just moves up and down all by itself for no rhyme and reason now. So all kinds of crazy stuff. It helps calm. Okay. So I want you to always have a book. Okay. Um, gotta have a book. Gotta have a book. Gotta have a book. Or you're never going to learn how to use these oils and empower yourself independently. Right. So um, there are so many oils listed in here with so many uses. You if you don't have every single oil collected, just take whatever you, oils you do have and use them. Like someone said in the comments, the only way it doesn't work is if you don't use it. Um, Diane said, I sleep so good now. I started dreaming again. No nightmares. Love it. Terry's liver roller is geranium, celery seed, arborvita, zendocrine, grapefruit, clove, lang lang, green mandarin, heel chrysum, cypress, and citronella. And she takes two drops of Zendocrine, Copaiba, Frank, Turmeric, DDR Prime, two times a day. She also takes Terrazyme and Zendocrine Complex AM and PM. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But this is also another reason why you want to work on building up and getting every single doTERRA oil. You may only use five drops in this recipe right now, but you have it when you want it. Um, there's a case that I love on Amazon. I'll post for a link for it, and it holds 104 oils. I think it's 104, and um, which is every single oil that doTERRA makes, all right? So those will all fit in there, and then you have what you need. So take a moment and get all your oils in one place, in one case. I'll take a picture of my case when we're done and post it so you can see it. But when it's time to sit down, I don't want to find out that patchouli is an amazing oil for me right now and I don't have it. All right. I want to make sure that I have every single oil on hand at all times. So um, I buy a lot of my oils with my free points. In fact, I think I buy all my oils with my free points. I haven't paid for oils since like April of 2015 because I use my free points that I earn uh, when I order my doTERRA. If you do not have your own doTERRA account yet, get it. You can get it free right now when you order any of our extra super discounted starter kits. All right, Your wholesale account is included at no extra charge. And a lot of them come with three to five free products. We also have the new Cura collection, which is the mini bathroom makeover cabinet collection for digestive, aches and pains, um, sleep, everything you need, right? And that's on sale with a big discount right now. You can see at the pinned post in the top of this group, um, the starter kits. Once you get started then, you wanna get your um, rewards account set up. It's monthly, you do not have to order monthly, but if you want all the extra rewards that we get, so for example, I usually get anywhere from 50 to 100 um, free points every month in dollars to spend. It's a point is a dollar. Um, and so that's why so many or all of my oils are free unless it's a promotion. Okay. You can't use your points on new products, diffusers, pre-made kits, or brand new items. All right. Let's see what kind of questions you have. Terry, do you recommend adding the same oils as before to the new shampoo, conditioner, and spray? I don't know yet because my shampoo, sh shampoo and conditioner set that I overnighted got deli delayed due to a hurricane and our post office airplanes could not land in Florida the last couple days. So I'm going to try it without first, Terry, and see how I love it and then I'll let you know from there. I do have an amazing picture of tons of new hair growth because I've lost a lot of my hair since this cataract surgery because it messed up my system so badly. I have tons of new hair growth and um, a lot of that is from the mermaid spray. So I want to post um, a picture of the mermaid spray. So for right now I'm not adding any oils to the new doTERRA hair care because I want to see what it does on its own and I'm going to keep using my mermaid spray and in this group you can type in the search bar mermaid and the mermaid spray will pop up and you just spray your scalp and massage it in and I want to show you my new hair growth and then if I feel like I need that extra oomph then I'll let you know. Christy is loving it. She got hers right away because she's not in hurricane land and she is loving it without any additional oils added. 
I can't wait. I just hear it's amazing. So for new products, make sure you get your doTERRA hair care trio. When you order that, make sure you're paying attention to the special tab where you can get the travel size trio added on for only $10 instead of 30. You can only get one of them and it's while supplies last. Don't wait because those are probably going to run out that travel promo. All right, make sure you order the whole set. I think you save a dollar if you order the hair care trio full size and then you save $20 when you add on the uh, trio. Okay, there's an add-on button that pops up. Great questions. All right, what else is new? Um, the Cura Collection. If you don't have your own account yet um, and you get started with a, your first order of $150 or more, doTERRA is going to put $50 in your account. We call that dollar days. So that's exciting. Get with the person that invited you here. Get with the wellness advocate that's been helping you, educating you, and tell them that you want to get started and you want the free $50 and ask them what's the best way to go. Do not go to the website and just order on your own. You're not going to get the best price. You're not going to get guidance from the wellness advocate, and you're going to miss a lot of promotions and discounts and free stuff. So always reach out to the wellness advocate that's been helping you. They will help you get started, and they will help make sure that you get the most benefits. All right. Otherwise, you're just randomly assigned, and you'll sit in no man's land in the um, doTERRA website. Um, it takes them a long time to assign someone to help you and you'll be on your own. So don't do that, all right? Reach out to a wellness advocate that's been helping you. All right, it's gonna take me a few minutes to get all these um, put together here and typed up for you, and, uh, but we'll get you started. Make sure you have these two products for organ health in your daily routine. Um, obviously, the digestive enzymes are enzymes, but the Zendocrine Complex also has enzymes that you need. Look up the um, health benefits of enzymes. They are a required part of health function throughout your body from head to toe. We do not eat the enzyme-rich foods that uh, our bodies were designed uh, to need, in the American diet or any diet for that matter. So it's absolutely imperative that you include these two in your daily health for organ function, muscles, tendons, brain, eyes, skin, digestive, the list is long. All right. All right, I'm going to wrap up. If you have any questions, let's see, we got free Terra Shield coming this month, so make sure you order 125 PV. That's product value in your monthly rewards cart. That's the only way you get that one free. So if you're new, you can't get that free until you get in the rewards cart next month. So Terra Shield is free. That's our bug repellent blend, and lavender is on sale. I would hope if you're an existing customer, you got lavender, but now's the time to stack up on that lavender since it's a part of everyone's daily life. All right, happy oiling, everyone. We'll see you here next week, and feel free to share in the comments what oils you love, how you're using them, and help um, share your successes. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Happy oiling.